All right, guys, so I narrowed down the Unreal Engine 4 bug uh, that causes button lag to occur, and it's in DirectX 12 only. So in Vulkan and, uh, sorry, it's DirectX 11 only. So in Vulkan and DirectX 12, everything works perfectly on insider builds, as you can see, uh, which is pretty freaking awesome because it forces me to use DirectX 12 or Vulkan, thank God. Now, to Microsoft, since this is primarily a video for them, we're going to open up a uh, button lag. Why you button lag on? There we go. Pin to taskbar. So we are going to go. And we're going to open up a secondary engine just to showcase what the hell is going on. So that's DirectX 12. This is DirectX 11. We're going to open up the same project, too. This is fun. Okay, so button lag. Button lag. So much button lag. Right-click button lag. Button lag galore. It's, it's just laggy. It's like uh, World of Warcraft. It's just buggy and broken. Now, there is a huge difference between DirectX 12 visual quality and DirectX 11. Do you notice? For some reason, the AA is not on. Uh, or it doesn't work. Hello? Epic. Hello? Epic. <laughs> Epic. It's a bit odd that it does that. Uh, to show you that this is DirectX 12 that is working, you can see that it's right there. Okay, and to show you the other one, we'd have to get into button lag. And unfortunately, the button lag is a problem. Oh my god, what was that? I will look into those. Good. All right, Microsoft, so I need you to fix this problem. This is a issue that really makes me mad. This is your newest insider build, by the way, the content creators uh, one. And me being a content creator, really need this bug fixed as soon as possible. Or just delete DirectX 11 forever from the operating system. You know, that'd be good too. Uh, so thank you, and... Have a good day, Microsoft. And if by any chance you can find a way to make audio quality in Windows 10 as good, or if not better, than the audio quality that is inside OS X, loves you forever.